Hi, I am Sachi Sinha and I am a third year electronic and computer engineering student in National University of Ireland, Galway. So I am 20 years old and I came to Ireland to do my bachelor's. I had interned with Avishkar in 2018 after my class 12 board exams and um, I was basically looking for some robotics experience and I came across the Avishkar internship camp and I decided to apply for it. I knew about Avishkar through my brother who had won IRC in 2017. So based on his experience and the amount of fun he had at Avishkar, I'd also decided to apply for the summer internship camp. learned some C++ programming. I took computer science as a subject as well in class 11 and 12th and did some Python then. So yes, I've always had an inclination towards programming, towards STEM, towards tech. So I, I knew I had to go in this field since I was a kid. So the first website, it was um, actually just like a a website for like a restaurant for like a hypothetical restaurant I remember the name of the website it was called Chili's I named I gave the title called Chili's that was the restaurant name that I had in mind so it was essentially just a, a restaurant website where you could look up the menu where you could um, read more about the restaurant just a restaurant idea I had in my mind so that was the first website that I had made I had um, in, I was part of computer science clubs in school so I had learned a bit of HTML from there but then and uh, like internet is an amazing place to learn about coding so quite a lot of it I learned online like things that I couldn't understand in school or things that you know weren't taught in school I basically went and made a google search about it and I think a lot of programmers do owe their careers to google at this point so for me, it was really about visualizing what I want and then simply going in Google on and seeing if something like that already exists and uh, how do I implement my visualizations in real life. looking for more experience in robotics. I had experience in coding. So uh, one of the main motivations to apply for the Avishkar internship was to gain more experience in robotics. And I also saw that um, in the application for the Avishkar internship, they had mentioned that we would get experience in Arduino and 3D printing. And these are also things that I didn't have experience with. I liked the most about the internship was that I got hands-on experience experience on a lot of technologies that I hadn't used before and like I found the program to be very helpful in expanding my technical skills um, like I hadn't used Arduino before so that was actually the first time I got to use Arduino because in school curriculum like Arduino and uh, 3D printing is not really something that you know all of us get to do so that's um, something I got to do as a part of Avishka's internship. Also was able to gain some understanding of how engineering firms operate in the real world and you know what kind of an environment I would also uh, possibly end up working at you know maybe after four years of my bachelor's. So those are honestly the things that I really liked about Avishkar and working there. There's nothing really I did not like. I loved everything about that, about the place and just the full internship experience. It taught me a lot. It also taught me to be independent because um, I was commuting on my own and um, everything. So yeah, it, it was really, really fun. And in all ways, it helped me just be, like become a better software engineer. One more project that I really like. It's a bit, it's a project that's a bit on the simpler side. So it's basically a tic-tac-toe game that you can play against a computer. So it's an A, like against an AI, you're playing the game. And um, I haven't been able to beat the AI ever. I only managed to make a draw with the AI. So um, I've always lost in the tic-tac-toe game that I have only created to play against the AI. So mm -hmm. this is one project that I'm really <laughs> proud of. surveillance cameras with deep learning models that can identify an accident and report it to local authorities and contact nearby hospitals in real time you know like as quickly as possible because I feel that 
a lot of uh, deaths due to road accidents can be avoided if help arrives on time so that is a dream project that i've had in my mind for a really long time and hope i can build in maybe a few years down the line right now there aren't enough women in the field and um, i hope that young girls who would watch this you know they do end up deciding to take up the field because to be honest um engineering is for everyone it doesn't really matter what your gender is it doesn't matter you know like where you're coming from anyone can do it and it's for everyone first things would be don't be scared to try something new go ahead and try new things technology is pretty much all about trying new things you know go and do online courses learn more about the field definitely try to you know expand your technical skills learn more about the field um even if you decide to not pursue computer science degree later on i feel like coding as a skill is for everyone it helps you build um a systematic approach towards things it can it is helpful in every field that you go in so yeah i'll say um you know don't be scared of trying new things and learn a bit of coding even if you decide to not go and pursue it building something with the avishkar kit um he sent me a picture of a robot like a fighter robot and i was like trying to understand of you know like what is the use of the fighter robot and what is he trying to make <laughs> so yeah he keeps experimenting with the avishkar kit at home keeps making things um and it's really good to see him make those things working in a group as well like you learn together you fall together you get up together so yes definitely it's true it's i think it's really important to build a community where you know um students and kids feel free to you know express their technical thoughts can build things freely i do feel that um in india we don't exactly have such a community for students for kids and it's very important to build one